Tina from Bristles here. I'm going to show you how to use our app to visualize paint and hardware updates on furniture. So if you have a piece that looks like this and you wanted to mock it up with a new paint color and new hardware and your current mock-ups look something like this, I'm going to show you how to use our app to make a mock-up that looks more like this. Something that you can share with clients, your partner, or just yourself so you can make paint color and hardware updates more confidently. All right, so quick overview, we're going to erase hardware and then we're going to tape off our straight edges. Then edge guard will help us with those tough curvy edges. Then we'll paint the whole piece. You can update opacity, paint multiple layers, add hardware. Let's get started. So first you'll want to choose a project, tap on add project, and then you'll choose a canvas, which is just an image of the piece you're editing. So you can go to your photo library or take a photo live. Then once you choose your photo, you can crop it if you want and then tap accept when you're ready. I like to start by erasing hardware. So I'm tapping on erase and then you can make the scrub size bigger by moving the slider. Then move the square over the piece of hardware. You'll wanna hold still when you want it to start erasing. And as the rainbow loads, it will erase. Toggle unscrub if you need to undo any of your erasing. You can use it as a brush and just bring any objects you removed back. Here, I'm going to just erase it again because I did mean to erase that hardware. Tap done when you're finished and then we can start painting. So tap on paint and then you get to the paint menu. We can toggle on color. There's a mini color menu that populates with any color you add. Tap active to add a new color. And you can choose from the color menu here, or you can tap from photo and add any color from an image. Use the color dropper and choose the exact color you want to try. And then it will be populated on your paintbrush. You can start painting. Now we'll tape off the straight edges. So toggle on tape, tap on any of the shapes. I'm tapping on line and you'll get a piece of tape on the screen. You can toggle on the endpoints to stretch out a piece of tape and then move it. You don't have to be right on top of the tape as you're moving it. You can add as many pieces of tape as you want. Just keep tapping on a shape and a new piece of tape will appear on the screen. If you need to edit the tape, tap edit and then select a pin and you can edit it further. You can also use the same menu to copy or delete. When you're ready to paint, navigate to the brush menu. So first we're going to turn edge guard on and paint those tough curvy corners. So edge guard will help us do that. You'll see if you have a lot of texture in the image, it might get caught on some of those textures, but we can make our brush smaller and turn edge guard off to clean that up in just a second. So I'm just going and painting those four corners. And now I'm making my brush small, turning edge guard off and I'm filling in those little cracks. And then we can make the brush bigger again and paint the rest of the piece. When you release your brush, you'll uh, see the paint set. By default, the opacity is very low, but you can move it up under the color menu until you're happy with that opacity. We're gonna add another layer on the top drawer. We want that to be a natural wood finish. So we're going to choose the stain we want from an image and then accept. Now we're going to quickly tape off the drawer that we want to paint the second layer on. And when we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and paint that layer on. When you release the brush, the opacity will set at that default low setting. And if you want, you could update it. But in this case, we want to keep it like this. And now to add hardware, tap on add. You'll get to the bristles library. Here you can choose hardware from any image and we'll first crop it and then use auto select, remove the background, tap next, bring that into our canvas, resize by pinching. And when we're happy with that, we can simply select it and copy it. All of those changes will copy over. And just like that, you have your mock-up finished.